Good evening. <laughs> Thank you for waiting this long. My name is Gary Friedman, and I'm here to talk to you about one of the best inventions since sliced bread, the wireless flash system, which was invented by Minolta back in the 1990s and went without challenge for at least 10 years. I've been using it extensively back in the days of film. I'm a big fan of what it can do because wireless flash can add drama to your pictures and add interest when there wasn't any before. Moving the flash from off the camera to anywhere else in the room will make your pictures more interesting, will add drama to the subject, and generally make disinterested people say wow, which is the whole goal of you taking good pictures to begin with. Another example of using wireless flash, again, you want to put your flash anywhere but on top of the camera facing forward. Here the flash and the camera are talking using those four little tiny contacts on the bottom. The thing about wireless flash is that the same process happens even though they're separated by air. And how does the camera talk to the flash if there's not electrical connection? The answer is the built-in flash, your pop-up flash, or in this case, an external flash, has the ability to output very, very brief pulses of light. Wide pulses and narrow pulses, ones and zeros, kind of like a Morse code. And the Morse code can be picked up by this flash over here which is set to wireless mode. See a red light flashing? Yes. That means this flash is ready to receive commands from the pop-up flash. This is amazing. And the reason why this is so good, this is all this technology here to make it easy for you, you don't have to think about this. All you have to do is just place your wireless flash any distance away from your subject, and the camera will automatically calculate the right amount of light to put out and you can change the distance from your flash, and it'll work. I think right about now is a good time to do a live demonstration. Now the first thing that portrait photographers will tell you is you should never, ever, ever wear clothes that are the same color as your background. <laughs> Fortunately, she has the orange hanging, so, so that'll work out okay. So I'm gonna take a few test shots, and then I'm gonna, we're gonna see the results over here, and I'm gonna go from bad to better to better, and we're going to see how can we keep improving this just by modifying how we use the wireless flash. First one I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here. If you're ever doing a portrait, this is the right angle to shoot at. You don't want to be right in front of the person. It's always best to do about three quarters on the side. And the lens to use is best somewhere between 85 and 200 millimeters. Telephoto lenses tend to flatter the features of the face very well. Whereas, let's say you were shooting a portrait with a fisheye lens, what would that do? I don't want to think about it. So I'm just going to take a, a quick portrait right here. Nice smile. And we got it, and there we go, and it's well exposed, and it actually looks pretty decent. Let me plug this in so you can see the results. Believe me, it's so easy to play with this lighting setup all day long until you get it just perfect. But, you know, for five bucks, these are pretty good results. <laughs> there, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. It defines the head, you've got soft light in both directions, two wireless flashes and one diffuser, and you can get professional-looking results at home. Are you impressed or what? Yeah. Don't thank me, thank the engineers at Minolta who invented this back in 1991. So. What can you do with one flash? Thank you. You can see I'm not above being a tourist. <laughs> now, I took this last night. Now look very, very carefully. Where is the light on me coming from? I'll give you a hint. The wireless flash is in my, white, my right hand. Just because you travel by yourself doesn't mean you can't be in your own travel pictures. And just because it's dark out there doesn't mean you can't put dramatic light on yourself in your own pictures.